Welcome to Team Jamaica Bickle. Um, started some 24 years ago with a um, special friend and partner in the community, Dr. Vincent Hosang. Uh, moving from an eight foot trailer where um, you know, we served patties and sandwiches. And um, here we are today. Um, still a partnership that has grown and have provided tremendous success for our athletes. It, it's a community endeavor. It's, it's a situation, a community of volunteers. We're talking about um, our chiropractors who are not here yet, but they're setting up our security. Um, our music people play a critical role in this. But this is Team Jamaica Bickle. Today, it's a 30 by 100 foot conglomerate. I say that because under this tent, where we'll go pretty shortly, you'll find volunteers uh, a rota on a rotational basis, up to 75 persons working inside and outside the tent to make it happen. Serving meals uh, on an average 1,500 to 2,000 meals per day. Um, every athlete that enters this tent is guaranteed and provided with meals and anything that they do wish to have as far as their foods are concerned. Leading the team, Dr. Steph here, um, and you know, been working since Thursday, doing some fantastic things. Share with us your experiences here at Team Jamaica Bickle, the kind of work that you guys do for our athletes. Well, with Team Jamaica Bickle, we're really just trying to let the coaching staff show how fast an athlete can be and taking away any stiffness or anything that might be slowing them down a little bit on the body end and people, the athletes have been phenomenal. They're fast, they're smart, they're moving so well. So really, it's, the, it's all the athletes. We're just trying to help them out in any way we can, but uh, people have been great. The environment's been phenomenal. It's been, it's been a lot of fun, so it's been great. So, so this is work and play for you, huh? Oh, 100%. This is our team from Belize. We welcome them to Team Jamaica Bickle this year, and we trust that they'll do well. well why, why, why do you do what you do? Oh, for the love. I love children. I love, I love the kids. Normally we would have Mr. Vincent Osang here, but he's not here this year yet. Ms. Janice Julian is their marketing manager. Janice, share with us your experiences thus far. It's been a wonderful experience. This year, more than ever, we realize that there are more students, more athletes actually, but we're quite prepared to deal with it. We've always tried to prepare ahead of time, so with that, I know that it will be a successful three-day event. Um, it's still early days yet for the Saturday morning breakfast, but I think yesterday we served Erwin approximately 500 or more for breakfast. So it is truly amazing and it's very exciting and we're happy to be here as always. We won't go any further because we have rules and regulations here, but you, you can see what is happening here now. Uh, I mean, this guy don't even cook at home, but he comes out here and acts as if he knows what he's doing, right? Look, look at him, all right? But the, 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 the idea here is, is that we're doing it for our children, all right? And it's a labor of love. George, Trevor, share with us your experiences. Hi. Um we have been doing this for many years. Uh, we come down here with two trucks, one with equipment, one with food, and we serve every Caribbean athlete that comes here. Um, it's a long, arduous process, but we do it for the love and for helping these kids. And, and she is a nerve center in the kitchen. Sandra, it's 20, 24 years. Yeah. It seems like yesterday, doesn't it? Yes. Always a pleasure. Why do you do what you do? Love of country, love of people, and I love to feed people. All right. yes. that, that is a constant commonality you'll hear amongst us all. The love of country, love of children, and what we do here. Thank you very much for your services, my dear. Okay. Recently honored by the state of Philadelphia, man, my Vincey Massive. He's been with us from a long time. When he, when he speaks about the food, he says it's fuel food for the athletes. That's right. Talk to us, my friend. That's right. Um, I'm from St. Vincent and the Grenadines, but um, I'm just here all with Team Jamaica because Team Jamaica is no longer a Jamaican organization. It's a Caribbean organization. We take care of every single Caribbean country that comes to Penn, <clears throat> including the most recent Belize. We have a school here from Belize. We never had a school from Belize before, so we welcome everyone from the Caribbean. I want to say on behalf of Team Jamaica Bickle, our sponsors, our partner, our stakeholders, our student athletes, thank you very much. We need your support. Check us out, teamjamaicabickle.org. That's where you can go to make your investment 
in the future and to ensure the winning tradition. One love and God bless you all.